In this Rainmakers Extra segment, the United States healthcare system is certainly a contentious political issue. Many people look to other countries for examples, but where do we look for help with the opioid dependency problem? What countries are handling opioid addiction with success? As Dr. Reese pointed out, no other countries have close to the problem that we have. But yes, this, uh, it's a, a worldwide search for better treatments for, for chronic pain um, and a worldwide search to uh, find, um, get to scale up and get the treatments for opioid use disorder because it's not, that's, it's not just confined to the U.S. I mean, there are other countries that, that, that have uh, patients with opioid use yeah, disorder. Yeah, but if you just get, you know, look at other countries like Germany and France and places that have uh, government-run health care systems, they have actually paid for physical and other kinds of treatments, not pills but um, spa treatments and, and massage treatments. They've done those kind of things for years, for many, many years. So all those uh, health systems figured out many years ago it was a lot better to do more preventative medicine and less end organ kind of damage type medicine. Of course, our healthcare system is looking at the pro yearly profits. It's not looking at the, the long-term, uh, what's gonna be the way to <coughs> have the most cost-effective treatment. Systems within this country, for example, the Kaiser system, that essentially acts like a single-payer system uh, and treats millions of people, those systems uh, put in to affect opiate monitoring uh, prescribing guidelines long ago. Uh, and they are more likely to do more primary care-based interventions rather than heavy opiate treatment. 